listeners, yes, I have not dropped off the face of the earth. I know I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, but I am still here. Wanted to do this little update to let you know why I haven't uploaded. Basically, I've been busy working on Hillbilly Garage, trying to get it done before the snow flies. So I'm going to take you guys around, kind of show you my progress. We are almost moving ready, at least enough that I can get my stuff moving in there, start working on Mighty Mouse again. I know all you're wondering, how's the progress on this? Well, it is pretty much in the exact same spot that it was in the last video you saw. I got my intake all done. I did start to hook stuff back up. Uh got my exhaust header pipe all wrapped up ready to go back in and again there's not much left to do i got this piece of sheet metal here to bend to make a bracket for my uh dino jet pod monitor it'll be able to tell me my afrs and stuff all that right here on the dash so we got to wire that up okay i gotta swap out my wastegate here because this one is not adjustable so with this wastegate i'd have full 25 PSI that this turbo is capable of right off the bat and I don't want to do that so I got a aftermarket wastegate here somewhere the uh, no that's not it oh it's in here that will allow me to start at 3 PSI and then go up from there by swapping out springs so we'll have to get that swapped in for this wastegate I'm not sure what that's going to involve but hopefully not a whole lot we'll figure something out so once that's on, I get my boost controller then hooked up as well so I can fine tune it a little better in correlation with the different springs that can run in the wastegate. This guy should be ready to fire. And it's probably actually going to fire before that because I'm going to put her back together here somewhat when we move into the Hillbilly Garage to finish this guy. And speaking of Hillbilly Garage, let me take you guys in. I don't have any steps yet. Oh. But here is Hillbilly Garage 2.0. So the drywall is pretty much done. I'm not going to worry about painting. It's a garage. I started getting some of my electrical stuff hooked up. Obviously, you guys can see I have the lights all wired. Ah. Trip. Uh, lots more lights than I'll probably ever need that I can turn off individually. But if you guys have ever worked on a side-by-side, -side, you know, especially if you're running roofs, you get down in there, it gets dark, it's hard to see. So I wanted to make sure I had more than enough lighting. I could turn these on as need be. Of course, along this wall, I will have a nice, long, almost full-length workbench for working on stuff. I'm going to put an air compressor back here. I got 110 and 220 outlets all around. So that way I can plug the welder in wherever I need to and the other accessories. I'm probably going to put some shelving here. And you guys may be wondering why in the world is this wall still not drywalled? Mainly because I'm putting a better garage door on here. This was the one I got cheap off a friend who ordered the wrong size. And I was going to use it. However, it's only a 7 foot high door. And being that we're 10 foot high ceilings. I figured you might as well go ahead and get a taller door. So I got one that's going to be eight foot three and it's actually a roll up commercial door. I won't have to worry about these guys here being in the way anymore. It'll all roll up into kind of a roll right above the door. And I think that'll be better suited as well for future plans. If I ever want to put a little lift in here for working on side by sides, then we can do that. So. Here at Hillbilly Garage 2.0, I'm going to coat the floor with garage flooring coating so that it resists oil. But other than that, I plan on being in this moved in in a week's time. Now whether that's a week from this video is released, which I'm probably going to go ahead and quickly edit this video and get it up as soon as I'm done filming, that should be pretty much the case. So, here's the downstairs at Hillbilly Garage. Let's go upstairs and I'll show you the progress of the Hillbilly Garage. 2.0 office slash workout area slash something that's coming in the future for my channel. We'll wait till we get up there to talk about that. All right, so as you can see here, I've also been busy doing a couple other little house projects like getting the metal roofing on Hillbilly Garage 1.0 because it had so many leaks that even Mighty Mouse was getting dripped on when it rains. So I got metal roofing on that. That was another thing that's been taking time away from working on stuff and also i have a couple customer paying side by sides i've had in here to work on to earn me a little money to help pay for this big building project 
So that's been kind of taking me away from Mighty Mouse as well. And that's also why you haven't seen me upload videos in the last few weeks. But let me take you up there. Uh, of course, I'm going to have like a full length deck that's going to float across the roof here with steps coming down to be able to get up in here for time being. We just got the uh, good old ladder onto the roof. And of course, I still have some landscaping around here to do. So let's go up and take a peek. And here is the new office workout area, Hillbilly Garage 2.0. A little darker in here. See, this helps. We might have enough light. These GoPros aren't too bad in the cold or in the dark. So here we are, the new office workout area. So it's pretty much in the same state as downstairs. Although this is going to get painted, we're going to put carpet up here. I'm going to have my little office nook back here and probably workout equipment up here so I can stay in shape for making videos. But besides editing, this area here is going to have a bigger impact on my channel than you might realize. Because one thing I'm planning to do that I'm kind of developing now, which is another thing that's been keeping me away from uploading videos, is I'm going to start doing podcasts. Of course, it's going to be a power sports based podcast and it's going to kind of be a similar format to the Let's Talk videos that I've released in the past. I've done a few of those like comparing the pure sport to a utility side by side. I did one on uh, our side by sides becoming too fancy, something along that lines, too much tech in today's side by sides. And I want to continue that same kind of format only in podcast form. Now my plans, of course, is these will be available in audio, wherever podcasts are available. They will also be available in video format on YouTube for you guys to watch. And the reason for that is a lot of these I want to do as a live filming, basically. If you've watched some other Let's Talk videos, you know it's kind of an interactive thing where I'll ask a question, get you guys to comment, and I'm going to carry that on through the podcast. But I will have a topic that I'll post on my Facebook page. I will post on my Instagram. Asking you guys a question with the power sports industries. And get you guys to comment on it. And then we will talk about it during the podcast. And being how as I'm also going to film a lot of these live. You guys will be able to join in the live broadcast as well. To chat. To comment on things. Right as we're filming. And those will be included right into the podcast as well. So very excited to start that probably this winter sometime. New year, we'll plan on, you know, end of January, beginning of February. I like to do a couple of these a month, maybe a little less often than that so I get a feel for it and kind of get in the rhythm of it. I am not gonna let it get in the way of my normal weekly uploads though. So if I have to give or take on one or the other, then we'll hold off on the podcast for a week or two so I can get my regular Appalachian Mountain Rider videos up. So that is my exciting plans for this area up here and exciting new things coming for Appalachian Mountain Riders. Don't be afraid to go ahead and give me topic suggestions for the podcast on my Facebook page or comment in this video below. I'll write them all down, keep track of them so when we start up with the podcast we will have a broad range of topics to talk about. Oh, parkour. But, like I said, we are almost to the point where we will be back in working in the new Hillbilly Garage 2.0, getting the turbo install on Mighty Mouse finished up, and hopefully getting to do some testing before this is all covered in white stuff. Right, Alana? No. Yes, snow. So again, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment below on your ideas for podcasts or your thoughts on me doing a podcast, if you're for it, if you're against it. Again, it's not going to take away from a regular Appalachian Mountain Riders upload. Just another way for me to expand my channel and hopefully turn Appalachian Mountain Riders into something bigger than what it is. Like an amusement park. Yes. Like an amusement park full of roller coaster rides, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on riding.